Hello everyone, my name is Fabricio Piva, and this is a brief introduction to our recent work entitled Empirical Generalization Study, Unsupervised Domain Adaptation versus Domain Generalization Methods for Semantic Segmentation in the Wild. Semantic segmentation is a computer vision task where each pixel in an image needs to be classified. Nowadays, this task is performed by training a deep learning model on abundant label data and it can provide actionable information to auto autonomous driving systems and mobile robots. When sufficient label data is available, semantic segmentation models are able to perform quite well on samples that are similar to the training data. However, when they encounter images that are captured under different image conditions, such as different lining or camera position, the performance becomes severely affected, delivering inaccurate predictions that are difficult to interpret. This problem is known as lack of generalization, and recently, significant research has been focusing on improving the generalization capacity of deep learning models. On a high level, we can identify two tasks that aim to do this. Domain generalization methods that can learn a model only with label data, but evaluate the model on multiple unseen domains, and unsupervised domain adaptation methods that can train not only with label data, but also with unlabeled data, and that evaluate the resulting model on the so-called target domain. Nowadays, it is unclear to determine which of these type of methods achieves better generalization, because there exist several factors that impede for a fair comparison between these two. First, these methods are not trained using the same semantic segmentation architecture. Second, their training setting is different where unsupervised domain adaptation methods rely heavily on synthetic data for the experimental setting. And finally, unsupervised domain adaptation methods are not evaluated for the purpose of generalization, as they only validate the trained model on an unseen portion of the target domain. In this work, we propose to re-implement state-of-the-art unsupervised domain adaptation and domain generalization methods to train on the same architecture using real-world label and unlabeled datasets, and more importantly, evaluating the resulting models on multiple challenging domains that were never seen during training. We propose to integrate all these solutions in an evaluation framework that allows for a fair comparison between these two types of methods. Our evaluation framework proposes different datasets for the label and unlabeled domain that can be used during training and assigns multiple challenging datasets to the unseen domain, which is used only for evaluation purposes and never accessed during training. To solve the architecture discrepancies between these two types of methods, our evaluation framework proposes a common semantic segmentation architecture, in this case, DeepLab 2 To measure the generalization capacity of the models, we propose to compute the unseen MinAU average, that is, the average mean IUU over the datasets representing the unseen domain. We summarize the main, main takeaways of our work as follows. Unsupervised domain adaptation methods achieve better generalization to unseen domains than domain generalization methods. These results also means that generalization capacity can be improved by using unlabeled data. And for this reason, to perform semantic segmentation in the wild, it is highly advisable to use an unsupervised domain adaptation strategy that is able to exploit unlabeled data that is easier and cheaper to collect. For more in-depth analysis or experiments, we invite you to read our paper. Thanks for listening.